What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Douglas M. And today we're going to up my PlayStation 5 storage to this internal 2 terabyte Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink. My birthday is December 23rd, y'all. And this is an early birthday gift to myself. That's my PlayStation 5 right there to the left. And by the way, guys, it's December 17th. And I got this at Best Buy for, what, $200. Here's a better look at it. Let's get the PS5 open. All right, guys, so... I'm going to attempt to take off this cover. I've never done this before, so hopefully I'll be able to do it. Let's see. Huh, that was simple. All I did was grab the top left and pushed on my bottom right. Pushed on the bottom right this way like that and just pull it off. Came right off. So that was easy. Go ahead and get you a screwdriver and take this off. You get the point. And you want to just get this out. I just used a smaller screwdriver. Whatever you got to use to just pry that out. You can see this is what it looks like. I'll give you a closer look in there. Next thing you want to do is screw this piece out right here. I don't know if you could see it, but I'll screw it out and show you. Okay, so next what you want to do, what we just screwed out, one of the things is a spacer. And we want to take that spacer and put it in the last hole. Like that, because we're going to screw something in there. Screw the... Yeah, let's push it down in there. And now, we're going to put the SSD in this way first. And you don't want to put it like flat you want to put it at an angle kind of push in and then yeah it's in there so now I'm going to take this screw no this screw right here and screw it in And one tip I suggest you do when screwing it in, kind of put a finger down and then screw down to keep it in place because you have to screw it all the way in for it to be secure. Like if you do it halfway, this will this side will be up and it it'll look like the screw is not going to hold it down. So you actually just put your finger down and then screw till it's all the way down. And that's it, guys. We're ready to put the cover uh, this cover back on and then the cover on and we should be good to go. Now. If this screw doesn't fit, that means your SSD is not fully in. So remember, we're going diagonal, and we're going to push till we hear a click, and then we should be good to go. All right, guys, we're ready to plug it back in. Okay, so as soon as I turned it on, this is what it says. So yeah, go ahead, click it.
all right so we're in storage right now so go to console storage i guess oh no go that yeah so you see the right there samsung see two terabyte now go back to my um go to console storage up oh. now you see how much space i had left <laughs> 43 gigabytes so clearly i needed this upgrade and and go to extended storage. I have, as you saw earlier, I have a extended storage hooked up via USB. And not, not too much going there, but that's all good. Cool. And before I go, guys, make sure you go down to installation location and make sure you click for your, um, your new SSD to be the storage so it will go there your new downloads all right guys thanks for viewing hit like if you like it remember to subscribe if anything thanks for just even looking at my video